32, Lee Leopards 22. A game that Salford really did need to come out and show a bit of character after that disastrous game in the Challenge Cup at Craven Park last week. And by law, did they improve this week? Some wonderful, wonderful moments in this. None more so than two of the tries that I'm just going to go straight in on. Those two tries being the Ryan Briley one. What a beautiful try that was. Sneed out to Cuss. Lovely reverse ball back on in the inside. And in goes Ryan Briley for a fantastic try. And the Mark Sneed try. Oliver Parkinson, sir. Take a bow. What a superb offload that was from Mr. Oliver Partington and in goes Mark Sneed. Oh, two wonderful moments there. And we were also gifted with another great try. I thought the Lachlan Lamb one, again, was very easy on the eye on the night. Some wonderful tries. Yamila Hanley going in for his hat-trick. What an incredible talent this lad is. He's had to wait for his time, but he's undroppable now for the Lee Leopards. It wasn't just his hat-trick. Many will say, yeah, but some of those tries, he just had to put the ball over the line. Maybe that's the case. But this is a lad who carried the ball 20 times against the Salford Red Devils and, and did so for 154 metres. Three tackle busts in the game, two clean breaks. Hanley for me. You know what? He was nowhere at the start of the season. All of a sudden, you've got to say, he's in contention, isn't he? The young player of the year. What an incredible start to 2024. Yamaya Hanley has had fantastic stuff. It was always going to be an interesting game. This, yes, Leah, without loads of key players. Loads of key players. And maybe that bit them in this one a little bit. You know, I was really disappointed when I saw the two teams line up and there was no Ricky Latelli. I was really looking forward to see Nene McDonald and Ricky Latelli tear each other up. I really was. I thought that that was going to be just mouth-watering, two informed centres who neither of them give an inch. But that would have been a wonderful contest, wouldn't it, to have witnessed during the course of this game. Unfortunately, we didn't have it. I mean, maybe for the first time this season, or I mean, as far as I can remember, maybe the injuries now to, in this game for Lee Leopard really affected them. You, last season, they steamrolled teams, you know, the Amoni, Pape, Mulhern, uh, you know, the, the the supporting cast of O'Donnell, etc. You know, they just, I see Arthur, of course, they just went through teams time after time after time. In this game, it was actually the Salford Red Devils that came out on top on some real key areas of the game. I mean, first and foremost, you know, the completed sets 31 to 27, not an awful lot in that, but it's the run metres. You look at the run metres in this game, 15-10 for the Salford Red Devils, 15-65 for the Lee Leopards. Lee Leopards coming out quite good there, but it was the tackle bus. 35 tackle bus to 19. That's missed tackles, ladies and gentlemen. 35 missed tackles for the Lee Leopards. Adrian Lamb will be furious. They're going against Wigan next week. Their defence has got to be tighter than that next week because that, for me, was a key start in where this game was lost. You cannot miss 35 tackles, tackles in any game of rugby league, especially against a team that in Super League have been as good as Salford have for the month of March. It's as simple as that. And the problem was, it was right across the team. Some of these missed tackle numbers, you just don't normally see them. Six from Ed Chamberlain, you know, uh, the likes of Dwyer, Trout, uh, O'Donnell, all having four apiece where they missed. More than missed four as well. So there was big, big numbers that were being missed in this game from the Lee Leopards. That's not good enough. You know, games are won on solid. Dean, neither coach will be happy with the defence. You know, 32-22. Neither, neither coach is going to be happy conceding that amount of points. Of course they're not. But from a Lee Leopards perspective, that simply isn't going to be good enough. Next week against Wigan, who will be seething from that loss against St. Helens. If they don't tighten that up, that could be very brutal indeed come next week. As for Salford, who did give Salford a chance at the start March. Who would have given them a prayer? Yes, they've had a disaster in the Challenge Cup. Of course they have. And Paul Rowley will be the first to admit to that. However, in the league, it has been stupendous. Absolutely stupendous. There's no question about that. Start of this camp, you no, know, Hulk KR. Everybody's got respect for Hulk KR. They do a great job. 17 10, the Steve Masterclass. Then it's St. Helens away. That wonderful pass from Tim Lafay. You know, who'd have thought that they'd gone to Saints and turned over the Saints? Wigan, they had Wigan in their pocket. Absolutely in their pocket. We all know what happened, but let's not take anything away from that performance against the world champions. Simply superb. And now the Lee Leopards, four teams that all four finished above Lee. Would you have expected them to have come out with uh, above Salford? Would you have expected Salford to come out with six points in those eight in those games? Absolutely not. You'd have wrote them off against Saints and Wigan before the month even started. And you'd have probably expected that many many pundits would have expected that they'd have lost one of the ones Hulk KR and Lee Leopards. Not a bit of it. Six points from eight. Paul Rowley will be absolutely delighted and rightly, rightly so. And next up for them is Casford Tigers away. I'll tell you now, you know, they could go there and get off to a flying start in the month of April. They're going to have a rest for the Challenge Cup, which will probably do them good in terms of getting bodies back, getting fitness right. You know, Salford Red Devils, you've got to give them the due. We keep saying it time and time again on In The Sheds and anything else you want to watch around Super League War. If they can keep their men fit, they will challenge any side. We see it time and time again. Incredible performance. Congratulations to everybody at Salford. 
Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant one for March for you guys. Right, the 3 2 1. Who am I giving the three points to? I have to give it to Ryan Briley. You know, 20 points to six up at half time. And a lot of that was because of Briley. Briley got out of the traps dead quick in this. Both of his tries superb. The first one that, you know, just finding a little gap and through he goes. Thank you very much indeed. The second one, the combination between Sneak, Cust, and Briley it still took some scoring that from Ryan and delivered a brilliant, brilliant try for the Salford Red Devils there. And like I say, massive, massive wraps for Riley. I think the reason they were 20 points to six up primarily was his genius in the first period and once they were that far ahead you just felt that you know with Sneed's kicking masterclass that was surely going to come in the game that they weren't going to get pegged back and they didn't get pegged back so I'm going to have to give Ryan Briley the three because I do think that those two tries uh, were were critical and both were really well taken from Ryan so three points for, for Ryan Briley two have to go to Sneed a six from six kicks again a nice try delivered by Mr. Parkinson, of course. Beautiful try from Steve. Again, he's kicking game on point throughout the game. He really is orchestrating some brilliant performances for the Salford Red Devils at the moment. It's Mark Sneed. Has a player had a better month in Super League for many a month? I don't think they have. Sneed has been incredible. He leads all the tables. The Man of Steel, the Albert Golf Up, the new Super League Raw trophy that we're doing, of course, here on Super League Raw. And rightly, rightly so. Nobody can argue at the moment. Mark Sneed is, without question, on red hot form, white hot form, and deserves the two points for this one. And I have to give the one point to Hanley. It's such a shame that this young man was on the losing team. And I think even the Salford Red Devils fans would have to concede. I think we're watching here the emergence of a real, real talent on the Lee Leopards' right edge. It's a great, you know. Great to see a young man getting his chance and taking it with both hands. He's got pace, he's got power, he's got work ethic, he can finish. What a player Mal Hanley is becoming. Uh, really pleased for him. Great three tries. He'll be disappointed, of course, he was on the losing side. But there's plenty of more good things to come from your Myla Hanley. We were at the game. So for Red Devils fans, you must be overjoyed at this moment in time. Real opportunity now for you, you guys to kick on. And all of a sudden, people aren't talking about you being 11th and 10th. If you can carry on with this form, you're going to be knocking on the door of the playoffs. Don't worry about that. As for Lee, it's been a shocking start from you guys. Yes, injuries have ravaged the squad, but you can't be happy where you currently are, or are you? You know, do you think that you know you need to start to pick up some wins and pretty quickly? Yes, you've got a real challenge next week against the Wigan Warriors in the first battle of the borough of 2024. Then it's the Warrington Wolves. Then it's the Catalan Dragons. The next three games on paper for the Lee Leopards are really, really hard. And if Lee was to come out of all of those three, which is unfit, you know. I can't see it happening, but it could happen. If they lose the next three in Super League, all of a sudden it becomes a really, really testing year for the Lee Leopards, especially with the form of a team like the Salford Red Devils. What are your thoughts on that? What a game, though. Really enjoyed it. Uh, we said that Rivals Round were going to be tight and close games. This one didn't disappoint. Salford Red Devils 32, Lee Leopards 22. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow when we review the final game of Rivals Round, the London Broncos against the Huddersfield Giants. And don't forget, in the morning, you can download the Final Whistle podcast from 7 o'clock in the morning on Apple, Spotify and Amazon. Make sure you check out that one with the Team Talk members. Bye for now.